My sure. question is whether the motor's hand is designed specifically for um, flexion and extension exercises to the uh, extremities because it's my fine motor control which is most affected. That makes sense, Dwayne, because you mentioned that your parietal lobe is the place where we're having um, the most sort of centralized damage. So yeah, the sensory cortices there that are housed um, would most impair that coordination, that sort of um, integration of, of fine motor. So I think um, that that seems to be um, that seems to be um, consistent. Now, so let me say this: I think if you look at the modus hand, um, it is designed um, mechanically to help individuals perform the tasks of extending their wrist and their fingers, as well as flexing their hand and their fingers, um, sort of the wrist and the fingers rather, and that seems to be um, a very simple sort of intervention. And one might expect if you were to do outcome measures um, uh, before a intervention and after it, you would of course expect to see changes in their range of motion and strength um, and maybe motor performance with tasks that depended on only being able to open and close your hand. We do, we do see that in those, in, those, uh, in those randomized control trials. But what's really interesting, Dwayne, is that, and this is kind of unexpected, at least at the outset, we did see improvements in individuals' fine motor capacities. And so when we did these studies, we actually performed these outcome measures that had a variety of tasks. And those tasks were fine motor in nature. These are called classically like the action research arm test or the wolf motor function test. These are a composite of many, many movements, some of them fine motor, some of them more, more gross motor that also involve the whole arm. We saw improvements distributed across the, the range of outcomes, uh, this range of movements. And so we do see improvements in fine motor skills. And this is, um, uh, was a little bit surprising, but then when we kind of thought back to first principles of how the nervous system is wired and also how the mechanics of the system is wired, it does make, it makes quite a, 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 a bit of sense. Uh, mainly because when you look at which muscles actually control the fine motor skills, they are the same muscles that perform the gross motor skills that actually the motor's hand works on. And so just being able to regain the volitional control um, and the precision control with the actual individual games, um, it makes, makes perfect sense that we do get that carryover into those more refined tasks. So um, we, do, we do see improvements in individual spine motor skills. That is very good to hear, thank you. Of course. Um, and of course, we are continually working on improving the actual interventions to make it more relevant for individuals, in your case, Dwayne. Um, so people who have good gross motor, um, we're working on even um, more refined, um, fine motor, precision motor control activities um, to help individuals like in your case. So we have a good, a good bank of activities and therapeutic exercises, and we're continuing to, um, to advance uh, what, we can, what we can do with the system at present. Thank you. Of course.